Welcome back, y'all. Cody checking in with MBO. There's a bald eagle flying by right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Just be on the trees there. Bald eagle, that is awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We're out here fishing at the Hayworth Park again this evening. Fishing the north side of the pond. Real quick, we got the Charlie Brewer, or I should say Bobby Garland. On I believe this is an eighth ounce jig head, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a sixteenth or a thirty-second. Paired up nonetheless with the Abu Garcia Zada once again. We got some fish over here moving on top of the water already. It's been warm the last several days here in central Illinois. It's getting these fish moving. They are still a little lethargic, but we've been catching some fish nonetheless. It's been a little slow. Hopefully things start picking up here for us in the next couple weeks with the warm temperatures moving in. Oh, well, missed that one. What we're doing, guys, we're casting this and just letting it sink and reeling it super slow with the rod tip up, keeping this bait moving through the water column just slightly, and these fish are coming up and grabbing it. There's another little bite there. Yeah. Oh, he came off. Bunch of little, little crappie here at this pond. We did catch one two pound crappie here one evening. There'll be some pictures attached to a video. I don't know if I got video of that fish or not. I know that I got pictures and came up to the truck with him and measured him and weighed him. And so nonetheless, there will be videos and pictures from my phone. <laughs> That'll be getting attached with that trip. Move back over on these guys real quick. So what that is, we got something moving right there. Cast in there, see what's going on. Absolutely beautiful out this evening. What a great day to end a Monday. Started the new work week this week out doing some fishing. Can't beat it. Sun shining. About 55, 56 degrees out here today. We got fish moving all over out here. And I kind of want to move just to my left. I think that if that's a fish, that's a big fish that I'm seeing at the top of the water just to my left here. Might be a lay down sticking up out of the water. into some moss there must be an algae bloom or something going on out here there's a lot of like pocket moss surface and it's kind of odd oh. 
reposition here. We haven't had to reposition much this evening, which has been nice. How you guys doing? Fish moving all over around us, but we can't catch them, guys. What are we doing wrong? out there i mean i'll take it but that's kind of odd that all that fish came from all the way out there a little crappy right into the net and this is about the average size fish out here you guys and i don't know if the bass are eating them the catfish but nonetheless oh we got oh, we had another one right there just straight lining right here next to the boat while I show you guys this one. And I ended up getting hit. Let's see if we can't replicate that quickly. Yeah, they're coming up to it. They must be sitting out here. It's a little hot. <clears throat> now let's see what's going on if we can't catch another one out there in the in the deep off the bank secondary segment as oh there was a fish they might be sitting off this secondary segment yo oh right there gosh darn Let's see if i can't reposition quickly get you guys in frame as to what's going on here get in all that action oh This thing's just absolutely getting tore up. <laughs> just like that, y'all. Grappy, grappy. Oh my goodness, I, I don't understand how many bites I've gotten already this evening. This is insane. But you guys see the size of the fish. 
they're not huge but we are catching a lot of them i guess we were two on the board but having a crap ton of bites i should say they got to be in the boat to count right <clears throat> Bites don't count unless they're in the boat. That makes number three right there. Another little small guy. Can't get the hook out of this one. Nice little one. Let's see you, dude. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yes. Oh, he came off right here at the boat. That would have been number four. I was skipping him across the water quickly and he came off. That one's got a little bigger size to him. bunch of itty bitty itty itty bitty crappie in here but like i said there is a big one in here i released him so i caught him and then released him and he swam safely away i actually caught him on that far side over there we haven't been over there yet but i released him over by the uh, truck over by the boat ramp I should say so who knows where he's made it to from now and if there's more in there in here like that I should say seems to be a lot of smaller fish in here which is fine they're still fun to catch especially when they're like that and you're reeling in They hit it right at the boat. Other one. Great thing about this zaddy, y'all, it's super sensitive. It is a bass setup, but it is honestly one of the most versatile multi-species combos I have. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal. I've caught a lot of crappie on it, a lot of largemouth. Um, it's been all over with me since I've gotten it. It's put a lot of fish in the boat. And it's continuing to put fish in the boat as we speak.
can't wing it up. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful cast. Don't know if it'll be rewarded. I think I got into some moss up in there. I definitely did, yep. I want to say I felt it as soon as it hit. See what goes on. Oh, I had one. Technique I'm using to catch these is casting it out like so, as far as I can, or strategic, depending on the area. I'll explain the strategic scenario, but anyway, bouncing the moss off of it, shaking it free. And then once I get in an area where there's no moss, I'm just letting this bait kind of float, dead sticking it, if you will, and barely reeling it towards me. And these fish are picking it up like so. Oh, he came off of the boat. These fish are starving, y'all. They've been under ice. They're ready to eat, ready to get some babies going. Ooh, what do we got here? A little bonus fish? Oh, a little bonus? A little bonus fish? I'll take it. Take it. A little large mouth for the day. Come here, bud. Oh, no, no. Come on. Stop. I can't reach you when you get all the way up there. Look at that. Hey, hey. A large mouth, a little bonus. Although I have the bass rods out here, I started crappie fishing. There's just so many crappie in here. I want to know, you know, how big are the big ones? Buddy, 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 you're just about too small to be biting. The smallest crappie of the year award goes to me. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here, bud. up with a crappie on it. Alright. A couple more crappie and we're going to start bass fishing again. Until we get over to that other side where the big crappie live and I shouldn't say where the big crappie live, but that's where we've caught the biggest crappie out here so far. Oh, that was a nicer one that came off there. Fix this grub here. Once again, guys, we're using the Bobby Garland shad poles on a 32nd ounce jig. Oh, 
just had one come up and try to tail swipe it there at the very end. Tells me I'm still reeling it too fast for him. Fish this little corner behind me here. Another one of my little favorite holes. All right, guys, we're gonna relocate around the bend. Stay tuned. Also, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing, giving us a follow, like, comment, even stop in and say what's up. We're always down to chat about fishing or locations in Illinois or surrounding states. Forgot we had rods sticking up out of there. That's where the rods being on top like that are gonna be a pain. All right, y'all, we're gonna start bass fishing. We're gonna be throwing a white spinner bait, Strike King. Get that out of the weeds real quick.
Yes. On the white spinner bait. Let's go. Make sure we're still recording, and we are, baby. Let's go. No little dude. Thank you for biting. Let's see if we can't catch another. Yes. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, I got it on video. I got it on video. Let's go. Oh, you can't make this up, y'all. You can't make it up. From the top water explosion back here, I didn't even know that the camera was still on. Let's freaking go. Freaking go. Pretty sure there's a bigger one back here though. Pretty sure. Ain't no way there's more up in there. I'm pretty sure there is y'all, so stay tuned. a couple
y'all. I'm in like two inches of water. There's a lot of fish moving back here. Like, and these aren't small swirls. Oh, that was a nice bass. Oh, it was.
Well, guys, I didn't completely get the mission accomplished, but we did catch one in here. So I can't say it was a complete fail. Give us a sec. We're going to regroup here. Get ourselves out of this little area we're in, and we'll catch base here in just a few. Stay tuned. <laughs> 